Hello, I'm Anthony Hudson, and I'm so glad you could join us for today's match, which has all the makings of an epic encounter between Richmond and Port Adelaide. Football back at Marvel Stadium. Fair crowd in to watch this game today. Well, joining me is the former Melbourne skipper. He played 226 games with the Demons, Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Thanks, Otto. It should be a great game today. Today's big game is between Richmond and Port Adelaide. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp. And the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. Yes, Otto. It's a big day for Port Adelaide Fords. If they can get on top of the Richmond defence, they'll go a long way to winning the game. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners are ready for the players. The captains make their way to the middle for the toss. Richmond kicking to the left of screen. Both sides look ready to get into the action. Just moments away now. The crowd are ready and we're underway. Nan Curvis armed it down. Bit too casual with the tackle. Hits the target by hand. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Ball up in the center square. What can you tell us, Gas? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Kicks out of the congestion. Takes a strong mark. Puts boot to ball. Does well to cut off the kick. Goes with the kick. It's marked by Westall. Looks up with the kick. A race for the loose ball. He flicks it over. Here's Edwards. Martin gets on the end of that handball. Lynch with an easy mark. Takes the mark. Castagna steers it towards goals. Nurses that ball through the big sticks. He's enjoying every second of it out there. Gets his first. He's enjoying that goal. Back with another centre bounce. Ned Curvis hurls it away. Showing control was Rockcliffe. Got boot to ball. Lost concentration for a moment. No problems with that kick from Rosie. Pretty happy with that one. Port Adelaide with their first of the match. About to resume play. Nan Curvis got in the better position. Hooley couldn't snaffle it. Finds the loose ball. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Sackler going for broke now. And he stepped over the boundary line. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Applying the physical pressure. Sackler just threw it. Kick by Hooley. Finds himself in space and marks. Is accepted. The ball will be coming back. Baker running off for a break. Ball up call. Thrashes it. This is Martin. Just gets it onto the boot. Winning the ball in the air was Lynch. 
Looks to move it by foot. He gets above the crowd. Slams it on the boot. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Uses it by foot. Hacking it out of there. Clurie can't hold on to the tackle. Lynch had it, lost it. Quickly onto the boot. Gathered by Lambert. Rioli gives it off. And now they go. He celebrates hard after that. Six points the difference. We resume hostilities. One it down. Taken by Martin. Doing well with the mark. Chose to kick it. Jonas powers through the tackle. Caddy couldn't complete the tackle. The tackle slipped high and results in a free. Revo gives away a free for in the back. Clurie kicks it out of the back half. Marks now and can send it back. Bolton keeps that one low. Going for goal number one. He kicks that goal with purpose. Of course, Hunter. Reva loves that goal. Richmond have kicked back-to-back -back goals. The margin is 12. Guides it down. Uses the hands instead of the body. And it's a free kick. Eber goes with the kick. Uses a short handball. Did well to get a hand in. Dixon gathers it now. He drives it towards goal. It's a big kick. And it goes straight through. He loved that one. Port Adelaide produced the margin. Center bounce. Nancurvis won the duel. Eber controlled it well off the bounce. Mops up the loose ball. Fights the good fight. Sweeping handball. Rockcliffe moves it by hand. And now they're away. Trying to avoid everything out there. Caddy couldn't dispose of it properly. Great tackling there, Hutto. Boat drives it at goal. Just as the post and a minor score. Port Adelaide get it back to under a goal. Flosto assessing the options. A big contested grab. The kick from Rioli. The tackle over the shoulder. He drives it. The loose ball scooped up. Higgins puts on a bump. Soldo a bit too casual with the tackle. Boat releases the ball. Hartlett hurried kick. Caddy marks. Moves it by foot. Flosto runs after the ball. Listen to the roar of the fans. They love that decision. Flosto puts it on the boot. Running hard to take that was Hooley. Hooley sends one up towards the wing. Picked off the deck. Caddy just gets it onto the boot. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Decides to kick. A chance to gather the ball. Big tackle. Interesting handball. The handball hits the target. Power Pepper going for number one. They'll be pleased with that effort. A nice long goal. Congratulated by his teammates. Port Adelaide grab the lead. Thump clear. He gets his hands on the footy. Uses it. Gary, your thoughts on the first quarter? The power started well. Now it's time for them to do it for four quarters. The game was fairly open for the first quarter with plenty of goals to be had. Let's analyze the stats. Port Adelaide could have been giving the opposition a chance to move the ball around freely, which is working. Because... Ready to go for the second turn. Back in the middle as the Rucks go at it. Nancurvis just swats it away. A good mark under the circumstances. Puts it on the boot. Gets into some space to mark this. Rockley drives the kick. Asprey has a great set of hands. Sinks the slipper into it. He wins the ball in the air. Goes with the kick. 
He wins the ball in the air. Slams it on the boot. Sockers the kick. West offers his opponent off with one hand. Couldn't get the hand pass away, so he just threw it. A quick handball from Flostone. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Alex to kick. Takes the mark. Got boot to ball. Intercepts the ball well. Sinks the slipper into it. Caddy marks in a bit of space. Caddy went out in the square. Nan Curvis hangs on to that one. Uses it by foot. Slams it under the boot. Rant wins the foot race. It's a turnover. Asprey handballs out into space. Ball gets cut off. The ball mopped up. Prestia doesn't make the tackle. Awkwardly got the handball out. He can take off after that handball. Rant doesn't take the mark. Giving it off with smoke. He gets it back. He takes aim. The drop punt sails between the big sticks. That will settle the nerves. Gets his first on the board. Celebrating hard. We're back in the middle now. Winning it was Nan Curvis. Gives the old don't argue. All kinds of pressure being applied. Great attack on the ball carry. Eber throws the ball away. Channels a long kick. Takes it well. Port Adelaide just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Lynch leading the race to the loose ball. Goes off the ground. He just can't get out of the action. Rushes with the kick. Finds a way to go along the ground. Gets some reward for his efforts. The Tigers now only trail by one. Back in the middle now. Punched away. Opportunity for Martin. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Lee tries his luck at goal. That one will really lift them. No doubt about it. They get around him after that effort. Richmond could kick back-to-back -back goals. Richmond goes back in front. Dug out the loose ball. Ball up in the center square. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Puts it on the boot. Finds this and marks well. Decides to play on. Castagna elects to kick. Reba wins the ball in the air. Bit of an angle for this kick. Going for goal number two. Summed it up, and he delivers perfectly. Look at them celebrate that effort. Richmond Clee is now at 11. Punches it clear. He has the ball. Takes possession. Martin gets the ball. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Nan Curvis got a fist to it. Gets a hand to the ball. Turned it over. Picking it up was Edwards. Hartler couldn't keep his hands on it. Mocklock manufactures a handball. Costly mistake with the handball. Rosie throws the ball away. Puts boot to ball. Clurie looks to get onto the football. Gains some territory. Burgoyne hacking it out of there. Able to release the kick. Williams intercepts it from the bounce. The ball spells the power pepper. Out of bounds, right on the 50. The umpire will throw it back in. Ball back into play. Clears the contest. Broad gets the loose ball. Drops the mark. Well taken at ground level. The advantage is paid. What a fantastic goal. Power pepper gets number two. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Port Adelaide, close the gap to five. That's a really good team goal.
They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Richmond are winning plenty of the ball at the moment and it's allowing them to create plenty of scoring opportunities. Got their hands free with the ball as Wines. Seen plenty of it. Westock gets on the end of that handball. Slams it home. He's enjoying that goal. They've hit the front. Back in the middle to resume play. Swats it. Ebert picks it up. Gathers it now. Edwards going for number one. Great mark. 20 metres from home. They can't afford to be wasting these shots at goal from the corridor. This kick will put them in front. He's excited about that one. Richmond are back in front. Hammers it. Picks up the loose ball. Moves the ball by foot. Caddy having an impact again. You're right, Hutto. He's an absolute ball magnet. A clean pickup. He's got the football now. He's really turning it on now. Pretty happy with that one. Richmond have kicked the last two goals. Now they lead by 11. Baker. The siren sounds, and that's the end of the term. The scores. Richmond, 48. Port Adelaide, 37. Richmond will go into the rooms at halftime with plenty of confidence and back themselves for the second half. Time to see if there's anything interesting in the stats. Port Adelaide, are allowing the opposition too much room on the outside. They need to close them down faster once they break away. Thanks, Gary. Players taking a much-needed rest as we prepare to launch into the third term soon. A big second half about to begin. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Handball finds Nan Curvis. They can create from this. Breaks through the tackle. Rosie took his eyes off the ball. Dixon going for number one. He delivers with a drop pass. He celebrates hard after that. They are right back in this now. The game is back underway. Nan Curvis thumps it forward. Looks up with the kick. Receives the handball and takes off. He's leading the ranking points. He's the most dominant player on the ground at the moment. Nan Curvis will be the recipient of the free. Gets some distance on the kick. Scoops it up. Higgins takes aim. Goes wide. Richmond with the ascendancy over Port Adelaide, leading 49 to 43. Ends up turning this ball over. Move it on. Lynch decides to go it alone. Mopler hit the man hard. Hartlett looking to bring it back into play. Chose to kick it. Terrific mark there. Cochin kick goes inside the 50. Looks to move it by foot. A chance to reload the attack now. Higgins going for number two. His teammates rush over. The lead is now 13. About to resume hostilities. Punches are clear. He has the ball. Wins the race to the ball. Baker goes by hand. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Couldn't quite with the mark. Pal Pepper uses it by foot. Goes off the deck and through. Puts through his third goal. Smiles all round. Port Adelaide behind by seven. The game is back underway. Thrashes it. He wins possession. Moved on by Edwards. Rioli drops the mark. Needs a bit of a rest. He couldn't hang on. Cleary needs 
still in. He's barely touched the ball lately. Right he acknowledges the crowd. Richmond, 62. Clay Port Adelaide, 49. About to resume play. Punched away. Broad goes with the kick. Wines puts on a buff. Put his body on the line. Missed the target. Baker dishes it off. At full stride, receives the handball. Steady hands there as he holds that one. 40 metres from home. An opportunity for a third goal. Sees the opportunity and was able to take it. Higgins enjoying that goal. 19 points the difference. Back in the middle now. Dixon got a fist to it. Wines, Gurns a free kick. Decides to kick. Gets a quick kick away. Westhoff puts it out in front. Prestia clears the congestion. Great mark under pressure. Chips it towards half forward. Pal Pepper uses the body well. Wants to play on. Works it across the ground. He takes the mark. With a driving kick. Dixon takes it well. Goes by foot. A good mark under the circumstances. 45 metres out. An ideal position to be kicking from. Move it on. Pal Pepper looking for another goal here. Collecting high fives now after that goal. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? Celebrating hard. Port Adelaide reduced the margin. Umpire ready to resume play. Swats it. He gains possession. Ebert kicks in heavy traffic. Finds this one all by himself. 40 metres from home. Going for goal number one. The drop part goes straight between the big sticks. He's enjoying that goal. That's two in a row for the power. The power now only trailed by seven. Thumps it clear. Rosie comes away with the ball. Good mark and looks to send it back. The kick from Hurley. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, have he? Pushes off the tackler. Penetrating handball is in his possession. Moves it by foot. Asprey missed an opportunity to mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. Rant looks to work it from the turnover. He's got the footy in his hands. Gives it to Glyset. He bangs it through. Gets some reward for his efforts. The power have three in a row. Port Adelaide behind by one. Nan Curvis clears the contest. Cochin needs a chance to rest. Picked up by Burgoyne. Collected by Hurley. Hands that ball to the opposition. Sutcliffe picks up the loose ball. Linking by hand. Just gave it away. Pretty lucky to get that free. Clurie moves it now. Sockers it forward. The loose ball picked up. Outstanding pressure. He can take off after that handball. Rioli throws the ball away. Doesn't take the mark. Williams won himself a free. Burgoyne not getting much of a gas. You're right, Hutto. He's gone missing lately. That one ran to the post. It's all level here. Flostone to bring it back into play. Broad marks uncontested. He drives it. Finds a target. How did you see the third term, Gaz? A critical stage of this one. A high-scoring third term sees opportunity for both sides heading into the final quarter. Any thoughts from you, Gaz? The players will be feeling it out. Last quarter action, ready to go. Oh, they're going to take some risks now. They can't afford to waste any time. Thump clear. Martin now. Uses a short handball. Just put it on the boot. 
Hands that ball to the opposition. Williams just threw it. Uses it now. Taking a nice grab. Elects to kick it long. Brought Adam off up. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Takes possession. Revolt was taken high in the tackle. An impressive performance so far. This for a fourth goal. Richmond, Fleet, Port Adelaide, 69 to 68. Teammates break for him. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to him and give him some instructions. Hurried kick. Finds a bit of room to mark. Chose to kick it. A great mark taken there. Kicks it out of defence. Does well to cut off the kick. 35 metres out. Hold on to the ball for a few moments and just take the sting out of the game. Martin going for number one. No issues with that drop pass. Congratulated by his teammates. Richmond by seven points. We resume hostilities. Rosie gets onto the ball. Rioli coming off for a spell. And the umpire calls for a stoppage. Lots of pressure out there at the minute. Richmond are making the most of their ruck dominance. It's one area of their game that seems on top here. Intercepted. It'll be a free kick for that high tackle. Intercepts the ball very well. Richmond have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Dug it out. Burton quickly onto the boot. Can't take the mark. Burgoyne creates all sorts of problems for his opponent. A great defensive effort. Going for goal number one. Williams, a better man there. 15 metres out. Going for goal number one. Williams love kicking that one. Port Adelaide, close the gap to one. About to resume hostilities. Hammers it. Showed good control. The loose ball scooped up. Graham elects to kick. He gives away a free for in the back. Castagna has a chance to put a second goal on the board. Almost certain to go through from this distance. Moving on. Lining up for goal number four. They get around him after that effort. Richmond by seven points. Back in the middle now as the rucks go at it. Richmond needs to be more aware of the opposition set up at the stoppage. Their hitouts are getting cut off too easily. We'll get a ball up. Baker thrashes it. Unable to create the space. Fantastic tackle. Hartley does well to mark. Richmond haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Jonas kicks it. Takes that one strongly. Cleary puts it on the boot. Hartley finding it in motion. Uses it by foot. Castagna couldn't hang on to the ball. Burnt Jones goes short by hand. Ball gets cut off. Missed the target. Dishes it off. Gathers it now. Ball up in the centre square. Oh, it's tense out there at the moment, Hutto. Clears the contest. Dug out the loose ball. Just threw the ball. Bangs it on the boot now. Brawl dug out the loose ball. The tackle deserved a free. And gets it. Didn't get away from the tackle. Big tackle. Going for goal number one. A great goal. Both celebrates with the fans. This game is still alive.
This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Back in the middle now. Nat Curvis hurls it away. Edwards does get the handball away. Dixon rushes with the kick. Asprey takes it well. Flostone continues to find the ball. He's getting off the chain. Drop punt straight through the middle. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. It's on again as Port Adelaide take back the lead. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Port Adelaide leading the inside 50s and right now that's converting into scores. Needs a bit of a rest. Good mark there. He goes for broke. The kick ends up hitting the post. Richmond reduced the margin, deciding where to go with the kick in. Burton gets on the end of this. Lose the ball out of defence. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He needs to find a way into this game. Jonas wants to keep it moving by hand. Kicks hurriedly. Ball hits the deck. Hulik soccers it forward. Broad brushed off easily. Watts mobs the handball. Wins the race to the ball. With the ball now. Ends up with Wines. Just gets it onto the boot. Takes a strong mark. It's a turnover. Gets around the imaginary opponent. Manages to get a hand to it. Picks it up. Well collected. That's holding the ball. Didn't get away from that tackle. Fantastic tackle. After an enthralling match where every moment mattered, it's celebration time for Port Adelaide. Gary, what do you make of the result? It's such a confidence-building win. If you get out of a game like this with a win, it makes you think you can achieve anything. The final score of the match is Port Adelaide 6, Richmond 82. On behalf of Gary Lyon, thank you for joining us. We'll see you again soon.